seen what Mo's had to say on social media? Or you Heard know? it. Yeah. I'm just wondering then, I mean, do you have a different view that maybe <laughs> it is time for an optimistic message? Because he said in there, uh, whereas we are Liverpool and qualifying to the competition is a bare minimum. I'm sorry, but it's too soon for an uplifting or optimistic post. We let you and ourselves down. That's obviously to the fans. But do you have a, a different view in that maybe it is time for an optimistic message? And if Mo's mood also is reflected throughout the dressing room, what does that say about the motivation within your squad to, to get things right next season? No. So I'm just a bit worried about the headlines you create, but the things I say, to be honest. So, I, so do me a favor and try your best. So, of course, in a moment when you when you when it's in fact that you're not qualified, you cannot qualify for the Champions League anymore. That's a moment where, okay, because even when I knew after the last game, so they need one point or whatever, these uh, the other two teams need one point. Um, for me, it was clear they will get that point. Um, so, I drew kind of a line. I don't need it just to, because I, I'm a very optimistic person, but in these moments I, I couldn't see it. If it would have happened, we would have gone for it. That's how we prepared the week. So if they would lose, would have lost last night, yes, and it's clear uh, that we don't have to change now the, the mood again. And I said at the beginning of the week, oh, that's it. And then in the middle of the week, I said, oh, all of a sudden there's a chance. So, but it's completely normal. I think, I think um, in the world of social media, so many bad things happen constantly. I don't think that was one of them. So it was just a, a normal description of his situation, of his feeling, and in that moment, directly after the game, he's right. That's not immediately a, a moment to, to to send any optimistic messages. But maybe an hour later, a day later, I saw him now in the, in the canteen, and he was smiling. So um, I don't know for which reason they didn't ask him, but he was not in a bad mood. Um, and that's it. We are in the season not since a week or whatever, we are for a long time here and it was clear, it is, it's not, for a, from a specific point on, it was clear, this will not be a historically good season. Um, I think we said everything about it, um, that we are absolutely not happy with it, that it was, that we made mistakes, that we couldn't deliver often enough, that we, oh, we were not consistent enough. Um, but, I'm not sure, I think the last 10 games, if I'm right, even after Dubai, since we were in training camps or after the World Cup, was not everything great. But the amount of points we, we collected since then is is pretty is pretty good. And if we could have done that over the whole season, that would have we would be in a different place. So yes, of course there are reasons for optimistic use because uh, the, the things we showed in the last few weeks that's definitely the case. We have another reason for optimistic view because the, of the the atmosphere our people created in the last home game after the Villa game, the atmosphere in the stadium, the way the club said farewell the day after that, how Bobby said farewell, um, all these kind of things are absolutely the basis for a fantastic future. So we don't have to make it bigger than it is. It's a football season. We didn't deliver what everybody wanted and everybody expected, rightly so, but we are still really united and that's uh, the good thing about it if you can go through difficult moments like we did in last year last season i think that's a really good basis for a better future and um, so this I, I can i find a lot of reasons for an optimistic view but i understand as well that after the game directly when it was decided that you then the moment then you when you feel it really and it was for me not different than it was for Mo. Um even when I might have hoped a little bit less than him. I know that's completely fine. So um yeah the dressing room is not in a bad mood. We we, we learned to deal with the situation. We, we there was no um we didn't get divided in one moment between manager and team which is super helpful. Um we didn't put fingers at each other and say is this because of you or because of you. That's all good. And um, if you don't qualify for the Champions League, the best possible place you can end up is the fifth. So that's what we did. And if you would have asked me that uh, ten games ago, if that's possible, I would have said, no, I can't see that. For that you have to play much better, all these kind of things. And um, that the boys did that is really good. That it is not perfect. We didn't end up on fifth place because the last ten weeks, ten games, we ended up, ended up there 
because of the, the, the lack of consistency before that. Yes, and we are very self-critical with us, very, um, but there is no reason why we should now put the head down and leave it there until the new season starts. We have, um, I saw very good signs and that's the things I will take for next season. I know we've spoken about the possibility of new signs coming in in the summer. Are you wanting to get business done as early as possible and how likely is it you think that you will be able to get that business done early in the window or do you think it's slightly changed somewhat because now it is confirmed that you won't be in the Champions League? Does that delay or hamper your ability to get business done? I don't think so, but we will see. I don't think so. Uh, but uh, that's obviously possible. There will be... Um, that always is possible, that, that um, things don't go as quick as you want. It's not even po not only possible, it's probably likely, because there is always another, the better the player is you want, the lesser um, is the desire of the, the other club to let him go. So, and that's exactly what we have to prepare for, what we are prepared for. Um, but it's a long window and it's a long pre-season and a long break in between, and so we have time. If we get the new players in tomorrow or in six, seven weeks, it's not, it's not a game changer for me. To be honest, in either world, they are all signed tomorrow, and I can tell them when they have to be here. We can start uh, giving them the plans for the summer break and these kind of things. But uh, that will not happen like it. So, all good. And how are you looking squad-wise for the weekend? Darwin Nunes is, is he fit? He trained yesterday, fully. Ibu was ill yesterday. Um, Robo felt something is growing yesterday. We made a scan that was fine, but um, we anyway have to see um, how we can deal with that. Um, long term, I'm still out, obviously clear. The rest should be all right. Thank you. Hey, Jürgen, despite the fact that obviously there's, there's nothing really riding on this game, Southampton already down, and obviously your position sorted out, it is the last game of the season. It's their last game in the Premier League. They'll be desperate to send their fans home happy. You'll be desperate to try and have something to, to, to be positive about for the end of the season. So, in some ways, does that give you something that, that will give everybody a, a real motivation to put on a good performance? Oh, we don't have to make it now bigger than it is. So like, I, I, I don't think it makes sense so because the, I, I'm not used to uh, games on the last match day where everything is sorted before. I cannot remember when that last time was the case. Usually we play until last match day with, uh, and everything is at stake, pretty much. Um, so, but football, we only play this game to win the game. So that's the only the only reason we meet, and we have to make sure that we that I find a lineup um, with good legs, um, a lot of desire, um, and we have to see. Who, as we will not take any risk with players. Let me say it like this: that makes no sense. Um, but um, we have a, a big group together, and um, the training week looked really good. So the boys were, yeah, were really, bought really into it. It was cool. And um, so, but I didn't make any kind of decisions because that's um, we are now pretty early and I didn't see the dog yet. So we will, I will have a brief conversation with him, and then we will see who is in contention. And when we have that, then I have to make sure that we find players who are really, really in all departments ready for the game. I mean, because we, 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 I think it makes sense that we make changes. To be honest, to just to get fresh legs on the pitch um, and players who want to show um, something. Uh, besides the fact that we anyway want to win the game, that's clear. But Southampton, it's a strange one. Eh? When you, when we, we, we made the analyse, and such a talented squad. <laughs> it's like that's like football-wise. Uh, but really, if you let them play, they will play. Um, they have for sure struggled with finishing the situations off, and with a way, find a way to to defend um, in a way to deny the other team more often. That was. But in between these two areas, between the boxes, it's really it's, it's proper football, and um, we have to make sure we are ready for that. Because we all know, if we are not ready for that, and the pitch is not only in Southampton but everywhere in the world too big um, to get anything, because then you have will struggle. So that's really important that we find find a way to to defend them. If we do that, then I think we have a good chance that we can create chances. If we have that, then we can score. So that's it. I, I assume the south of England the weather will be great. For the weekend, so it will be a warm day, um, and yeah, who wants it more has a better chance to win it. One of the positives that you have had this season has been um, some of the young players that have come through the squad and, and got some valuable time and experience. 
how happy have you been with the, the development of the, the young players that have come through? And are you hopeful that you'll get, get a few more coming through the system for you next season? And from the very young ones, I think um, definitely Stefan is, the, is a standout player. So um, that was absolutely poof, that was exceptional. Played like a man. Unfortunately, the kid's body um, and then the intensity um, uh, caught him, if you want. But anyway, the signs he gave us, I think, are super, super promising. Um, and then we have, have at the very beginning. Um, Oh, Ben Doak, obviously. Nice science is with us in training again. Special boy, really confident, has something what nobody else delivers really. This kind of dribbling, this kind of straight forward bravery, all these kind of things. Re technically really good, high speed, super promising, but very young. Um, don't want to miss anybody out. Yeah, then of course. Um, Harvey always played for us, a lot of games played for us, a lot of games in, 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 a, in a not so good period. Um, still very, very young, so couldn't keep it up on the highest level, but showed again super, super signs. So it will only go in one direction, that's um, forward definitely. And then Curtis, that we got him back, was super important. Um, I think everybody saw that. It's like it's just a long, it's a, it's a long road. To become your best version, because as uh, you're young, big expectations, massive criticism from outside, all these kind of things, and to find yourself through uh, a way through that is not easy. And I'm really, really happy that that, that Curtis um, could finally do that. And um, super important for us, obviously, our own boy uh, making these big steps, um, and that's cool. Yeah, we have a lot of other young players, but I think these are the youngest, if I'm right. Jürgen, you spoke about what Mo Salah has said and his disappointment at Liverpool finishing outside the Champions League placings. Do you sense that that's indicative of, of, of how the rest of the players feel about this season? And can that yeah. help to be a driver Has to. for next season? Has to. We all think like that. Some a bit earlier, that this is not the season we want, wanted. We know for a while already. Yes, we could have made it in a little bit, but. Even then, in the decisive moment, if we would have won against Aston Villa, we would, and I think that was possible, obviously, then we sit here and hey, it's still exciting. Still, United has a home game, and I don't know, Newcastle plays at Chelsea, if I'm right, um, last match day. So, yeah, it would have been exciting, but it would have been likely that they do it anyway. So, we would have, we would have to start earlier with that. It was not possible. So, again, I, I, I really think this wasn't. It's not a season we will talk about. Well, maybe about parts of it. People will talk for a long time. And yes, we failed to give to give the, the people more to enjoy. But we had our moments, and that's now after all what the boys did in, in the years in the previous years. Um, it would have been a normal season if we end up fourth. Not great, but still qualification for the Champions League. So the big disappointment is this is this little thing, which is obviously a big one. Yeah? So. In, 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 if you look back, sometimes you have to accept it. So we said it before. If you, I'm here now for seven and a half years. It's a really long time. That the things always go just in the right direction with big steps. It's not likely. I think it would have been. We could have done better, definitely. But that there are dips is likely as well. Usually after three, four years, you change the manager. He starts completely new. Everybody accepts it. Needs time. Blah blah blah. This is not settled. Yes, I understand. We have that's a, a really good thing that I'm here that long. But it's a challenge as well because you have to invent yourself new. That's what we did now, uh, or with what we what we started now. And I think that's super exciting. And that that with all the the, the trust and faith we have. Um, and feel for each other. It's a super basis. A super basis. Nobody's tired. Nobody thinks, ah, who cares? But everybody cares a lot. Everybody wants to do his absolute best. Um, and I felt in a difficulty, and I think that's really more than worth mentioning it. I felt the unity between us and the supporters. It was so important. It's so important. The people really appreciate it. If, if, if there was a point to, to, to prove it again, it was like, 
how they said goodbye to, to, to the players. It's just, yes, yeah, it wasn't great. I could have said, yeah, but you played not good last season. But there was nothing, nothing. It was just, we created this atmosphere between us and our people. And I love that. And that will be the trampoline for us. And from there we have to go. And then, yes, um, this season was not great. And it's from a, from a financial point of view, that's actually the only problem, really. And that's a big problem in football, I know that. But besides that, we have European nights next year. And it's instead of Tuesday, Wednesday, it's a Thursday. Who cares? A great games, atmosphere, we have the chance to do it, it all. The FA Cup, I heard, will happen again. The League Cup will happen again. So great. We have the chance to do that. But then obviously the Premier League is there as well. So let's give it a go. And when when everything goes in the right direction, it's always easy to, to, to feel this togetherness. If it's not going the right direction, it's much more challenging. And I thought... Um, I didn't want to prove that point, but we did. And that's, um, for me, the trophy we won this year. In terms of your planning for next <coughs> season, transfer-wise, if you get your A-list targets and they all arrive and you've got the squad that you wanted, do you envisage some of the younger players that you spoke about that, that have been on the fringe of things, do you envisage their progress may be helped by loaning them out? By the way, now I know it. I forgot Fabio Carvalho when he spoke about young players. Honestly, no, no, it might. But no, no, I forgot him. No, just because now it, I think there's a possibility that maybe Fabio will go on loan or whatever. So that we will see that. But the thing is, this was not Fabio's best year in his career. Clear in a very a young career, but it might have been his most important. I'm, no player have, have, has impressed me more than Fabio. I have, true, it's the truth, because. This kind of very talented boy came here with big dreams and big expectations. It didn't work. It was okay in the beginning, but didn't work out in the end. His work ethic will give him a fantastic career because he trained with getting nothing. And for a player, it's only one present you have each week. You line me up. If you don't do that, bring take me in the squad. It's my only chance to 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 satisfy a player. If I don't do that, it's about you. It's about the player how he reacts and his reactions in a row never saw before. Unbelievable. So, yeah, well, and I'm not sure if he should really, if he goes on loan or whatever, but um, if we keep him, that's all we will see that. Um, but apart from that, there's no plans. These boys I spoke now about, there's no plans really now already that we say, you know, you go there or you go, no, no, no. Um, we want to keep them. If we can give them the opportunity to play, we will keep them, definitely, because they have the quality, definitely. And the, the next generation, if you want, and after that, that's a different story, maybe. And we have to see how we do that. But Conor Bradley is coming back, was in a building yesterday, so I saw him. I had a feeling he grew <laughs> um, in, the, in, the, in the timing at um, in the other club. And um, that's so he, we, we have big hopes for him, to be honest. Luke Chambers coming back, um, other boys coming back, own back now, already back. A bit earlier, so we have real we have real talents. Tyler Morton coming back. We will see what happens. There. He's unfortunately injured, so we will see that. No, no real plans. That the preseason will start, and um, and then we make these kind of decisions. Thank you. Hello. Hi. You, you said it makes sense to make make changes this weekend. I'm just thinking in terms of you know, players who, who might who have not played well this season. It's important for them to still feel the important involved and you know they get is, is, is there a sentiment I'm saying is, is there a sentiment to your team selection on this a rare occasion that you don't have to think about I'm not this very well I don't know. Oh, it's great I, so far I have no clue where you want to go to but it's, 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 it's one of the rare occasions where you can allow sentiment or emotion to Influence your team selection. Players who have not played much get get a chance. I will see. I don't know. I, 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 that was not uh, actually in my thoughts. That I want to I want to line up the right team. So, but that could lead to to the outside world. That that's I did it because of that. That's unlikely. I will try to line up a team who's ready for this game for the for the. 110, 112 kilometer in the game, whatever you have to run. Um, in Idlewood, more um, 
do these kind of things, for the challenges, for these kind of things. There are different things I have done. It's really, I, honestly, this is completely new to me. It's really new to me. So last night, we are fifth. They are relegated. Okay, what does that mean now? Usually, we play last night and next and, and Sunday we have to win, and if not, then everything breaks down and stuff like this. It's a final or whatever. So that's really different. But I want to do the right thing and didn't decide yet finally because I need for that, I need the, 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 the information from the medical department. If I have them, I will start thinking about more um, detailed. So you will see. And whatever you make of it, because of sentiment or because of whatever, that's fine because maybe it's influenced by both, but in a moment I don't know. Hi Jürgen, I don't know if you've been keeping up with developments back in your home country, but your former club Dortmund obviously... <laughs> no, what? ...at your, at your <laughs> other former club, yeah. Mines, I don't know if I've pronounced that right, I can tell you. Um, so I was just wondering if you've been following that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not dead. I'm, I'm, I'm alive, <laughs> of course. Uh, and I'm a bit nervous, to be honest, as well. So. Um, I can say in this case I would be happy if Dortmund wins against Mainz for once, it's no problem. Mainz, uh, it would have been a bit more tricky if Mainz, Mainz would have won the last game, then I think they would have had a chance to qualify for Europe, uh, I think that's off the table. Um, if I want Hamburg and Ryder, I might be not that much um, into it. Uh, yes, I hope Dortmund will win, I think it's long enough. I know Adrian very well, I know a lot of people very well at, at, at Dortmund. We were always in contact um, and we are now in contact and, um, and I know what it would mean to the city and it's in, in general. I can imagine Bayern sees that differently, but it's not fun if the same team becomes always champion and we all know Bayern will strike back next year. So anyway, <laughs> so if there's a gap we have to run through. And I really hope it looks like it was ups and downs. Uh, it looks like um, they can do it, but nobody thinks they did it already uh, there. And I, if I would be in the chair, that would be the most intense period of, of your life, uh, the day before a game like this, when everybody's planning the party and stuff like this, and you have to say, yeah, do, but don't bother me with it. It's really tricky. So it's a big one, and I just hope that they can get through it. It would be massive. We want to break up.